guys it's Wednesday and I was supposed to have my doctor's appointment today so yesterday I had called and left my doctor a message saying I got my appointment at the foot doctor for next Tuesday so I'm one week out from my appointment with the foot doctor is there any way I can just keep the boot and not get casted? It would be really, obviously, better. <laughs> and I didn't hear back. So, you know, I had to plan around being at the doctor. So, I had to book a super, super light day at the shop because of my appointment at the doctor was for one o'clock which means when the dogs come in they have to be bathed they have to be dried they have to have their ears clean they have their nails cut before i can even work on them so i booked five haircuts and then we booked dogs that were just bath dogs two of our bath dogs canceled because the customer was sick um and then I just got a phone call from the doctor's office saying that the doctor's fine with that. He just wants me to stay off the foot as much as possible and go see the foot specialist next week. So here I am now with a day. The shop could have, you know, I could have worked more. I could have made more money. I'm still mad about the whole Southwest thing. Because I lost a lot of money last week because of Southwest. And I'm frustrated. Because people just don't realize how they mess up your life. And, you know, ugh, frustrating. I mean, life goes on and everything, but I don't know. Just sucks. Because it's like I've told you guys before, it doesn't just affect me. It affects the people that work for me, too. They lose um, income when I can't work. And I feel more bad for them because they're, you know... I'm the business owner. I'm more in a position to um, be able to handle that than people that are working by the hour. So, anyway, I feel bad, and I feel bummed, and I feel kind of annoyed, and I just thought I would come and tell you that, and that I'm almost done with this explosion box, like literally mm, 10 minutes away from being done with my explosion box. And looking forward to sharing it because I am so behind on my design team projects because of, you know, last week I was just really slow moving around. I'm better now. It, it hurts, but it's not like, um, like I can't function hurts. So we have a lot of comments to go over. But I think I'll do my hair first. I just thought I'd come and complain. All right. I'll be back. Bye, guys. And that's what's happening now. Look how far that is from the ankle. And this is looking way better. So got some bruising there. A little bit of bruising there. Doctor tomorrow. But, sorry. I'm just wondering about that. And it's not the boot. I promise. Wednesday afternoon. So I didn't have to go to the doctor. I can't remember if I told you that. But I had left a message for the doctor asking if I, <clears throat> since I have my appointment at the foot specialist on Tuesday, could I skip the cast, be a good girl, 
stay off it as much as possible. He said yes, so I didn't have to go. Okay. I wanted to show you. I got a couple things while I was gone on my trip. Um, things I had forgotten I ordered. Y'all ready? Look at this. Right? It even comes with the matching stir. It's so cool. So, yeah. They had a bunch of colors, but I wanted to order the pink one first and make sure that I liked it. It was like... Hmm. Ah! I almost broke the other one. Let me see how much it was. Because I want to be sure how much it was. <sighs> My phone kind of sleepy there for a minute. I was like, no, no sleeping. Uh, purchase. Purchase history. Fifteen. Well, that one was not fifteen. Yeah, that one was fifteen dollars and seventy cents, including the shipping. Okay. Now the other one I'm going to show you was also fifteen dollars and seventy cents, including the shipping, because the shipping was free. Are you ready? This is amazing. What do you think of that? Like, even the... I mean, look at that! That is super cool! So, yeah. fifteen seventy per cup. And they had other colors in this one, too. And it comes with its own stir. So, I totally forgot. I totally forgot about those. But they came. Then I also ordered this. Well, these two things. For the book nook. My very first tea party. And it's, it's for little, little kids. But it's okay. It was like $3 and something. So I got that, Ugh. and I ordered this. I don't remember how much this was. I got this on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. And I'm just trying to learn, 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 learn. The production of tea, leaf grades, tea blends, how tea is traded, perfect brewing. This one looks like a little bit of Verena's head. But there's some stuff I'll be able to use. <sighs> oh. And then I ordered a D stash. And it was a Tilda D stash. And it came with all of these die cut teacups. And I was like, oh, I have to have those. So, let me see. There's some different ones. I think there's like three or four of each one. So, ugh. I had these papers before but it's been a really long time and I was like that would be nice to have those again and work with those again so it came with this and you got the little dolls and there's some little um, sewing stuff and button stuff then this is the card background I'm not going to use this for cards I'm going to use it 
probably for journals. I need to get better at those. Um, she sent me all the scraps that were left over. So there's one from the corner shop. Happiness is homemade. And this has all the scraps and the punch outs. Tiny treasures. And there's scraps and punch outs in this one too. Cute, cute. Um, Christmas play. And scraps and also punch outs in this one. And I told her not to send me this. This was part of the deal. And I told her, please don't send me that. I don't want it. Just keep it. And de-stash it again. And she sent it anyway. And this is not me. This is actually... No. I don't want to insult any of you who might like it. But I'm just wondering who put these papers together. These papers don't make any sense whatsoever to me. Um, so if you want this paper pad and you want to pay to ship it, I will send it to you. Look at that. Do those look like they go together? Maybe I'll take it to the resale shop. Okay. Oh, I got this before I left. Look at this. This is my new backdrop for doing videos on my table. So I got that. Ugh. And I ordered cupcake wrappers from China. For the tops of my cards so I got white and this sort of salmony pink and I got butterflies I got that salmony pink I got white and I got ivory and I'm super feeling sleepy guys Ugh, I might actually have to go lay down I did a minute ago was getting undressed to get in the shower and I was taking my work pants off and my foot got stuck in the pant leg. And so like, here's your foot. It bent it like that. And I screamed. So I'm going to have to be super careful. So I'm looking at teapots and teacups online and stuff. And it's just super bum bumming to me how expensive it is to get shipped. So, I'm just, yeah. I think these people could actually ship them cheaper. But I think they're kind of rolling some of the cost into um, the shipping. And it's just not fair. At all but <sighs> I guess I'm just feeling really bummed right now because I can't go out and go shopping and I'm applying for some grants and hoping to get some grants um, grant money you know for women who are starting businesses but apparently it's much harder to get that um, than if you already have an existing business and you want to borrow money so but boy there are some pretty teacups on here ah I swear teacups can be so pretty all right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye. In the bedroom, and I thought I would show you some of the goodies I got in Texas. So we stopped at 
Well, I got this in my mom's house and I was like, mom, can I have that? It's an old card somebody sent her a long time ago and I'm going to, I'm going to use that. So we went to Tuesday morning and look at these. These are chipboard. They're by Bow Bunny and look how much they were, $2.49. So they're really nice and... I might use them for signs on tables of my uh, my tea shop, or you know, I may just alter them up and sell them in my tea shop. I don't know. I also found something I've really been wanting. I really wanted this collection. This is the Cafe Parisian collection from Graphic Forty Five, and I found two eight by eights. So this has got, you know, Parisian cafe stuff, which is kind of, kind of perfect. Anyway, got those. I was going through my mom, one of my mom's closets and I found all these huge um, envelopes. These look like they're like six by nine and they're kind of... Um, ivory colored so I was like mom can I have those she's like yeah take as many as you want she had a huge box she's like take as many as you want every time you come I was like okay so I found two of the authentic what's this called always so it's a wedding black and white wedding um vintage wedding collection i found two six by six and i found two 12 by 12s i'm really happy about that i found this vintage tin in my mom's cabinet let me see if it has a date on the back It's Hershey. It does not have a date on it, but it looks really vintage. Um, I found these little doilies at one of the craft stores. It was $4 for, let's see how many there is. One, two, three, four, five, six. $4 for six doilies. Um, two of these... And I think these were $4, so $2 each. My mom gave me this little vintage dress. Um, I got this at Tuesday morning. It was $12.99, and I couldn't pass it up. I could just see this on one of the, the party tables at the tea room, so... So pretty. Look at these. I found these at Goodwill for a dollar, a dollar a piece. Look at these. I don't see them staying gold, but I was like, yeah. So I thought that was really cool. I also found this at Goodwill, and I imagine making some kind of um, altering this somehow and selling that in my tea store. Look at this. I found this at the Craftique Mall, and I figured I could alter this up and sell this. So that's the plan. All right, my mom gave me this and this and she gave me this and she was like, I'm sorry, it looks like that, but you could put another doily on top of it or, you know, something, but it makes you wonder what happened. What happened to that? Okay, so... 
she gave me this lace bag full of all kind of lace scraps. Hmm. Oh my gosh. These are vintage bibs. And they're stitched. That's what they look like to me anyway, bibs. But anyway, there's a slice bag and it's got these baby bibs and let's see what this is. Oh my. Oh, vintage dress. Oh my goodness. So cute. Okay, so that's that's a cool bag. All right, um, she gave me this. This one's like that other one, only it doesn't have a hole in it. And this I got at the Crafty Small for two bucks. I got this. I think this one's super pretty. And I know it has two holes in it, but again, I can cover those up. This. All right, there's a whole bunch. Let's see. This. This is a pillow slip. Or, yeah, a pillow case. But. I could see that being in the book nook with the pillow in it. She gave me this huge runner. And I was like, Mom, what happened? She's like, I have no idea. So if you, any of you guys have an idea, I mean, can you bleach these? Can you bleach these? Let me know. She gave me a whole bunch of curtains. I couldn't fit them all. This one is a like a valance. Honey calls them a valance. valance. It's like a it's no, it's a valance. But you could also hang this over the edge of a table. But she gave me like, I mean, there were like 10 curtains that went with that. Alright. Uh Oh, good. It scared me. It sounded broken. Okay. So, I got this little sugar bowl. And there is a creamer that goes with it. I had to leave the teapot at my mom's that matches that. Oh, this is what my, my mom gave me this. I'm keeping this. This is, it says U.S. Mail. My dad was a postman. And I was admiring this. And she's like, take that with you. So I took it. I got this at Goodwill for $2. Oh, look at this. This came with the cup. I mean, a batching plate. And it was $3.75. I was like, woohoo, jackpot! I actually hit several jackpots. I want you to know. Oh, what do you see this? Okay, so here's the plate very very pretty that goes with this teacup three dollars and 75 cents and we were all just looking at it like what's what's the matter with it oh my god that just scared the pachisus out of me the tv came back on oh that scared me Oh, my cousin, my cousin Lisa, she got me, oh, I'll have to wait till I find the other one that goes with it. Look at this beautiful platter. 
and it was marked down from $25 to $15, and then it was 50% off. Is it this gorgeous? I love it. Love it. All right. I'm trying to find... Bells. Oh, good. Okay. So, my mom has an entire tea service. An entire tea service with like a serving for eight. With this. Look how pretty. It's iridescent. And beautiful. She's given me the whole service. And I was like, can I just take this one so I can remember how pretty it is? She's like, yeah, take it. Take it. <laughs> All right. Now, the next thing I am going to show you is a pretty incredible find. Oh, this is not the incredible find. This was cute. This was $4.99, 50% off, so it was $2.50. It's taped on, but I thought it was cute. So $2.50 for that little teapot. All right. So, look at this. This one is the creamer, and this one's for the sugar. Wait till you see the rest. Hold on. Hold the phone. The teapot is in here. Here's the teapot. Would you like some tea? Oh my God. The whole set was $20 and it was 25% off. So the whole set, all three pieces for $17.50. No. $15. $15. I had to think about that one for a minute. Okay. My cousin Lisa, bless her little soul, drove me around to the Crafty Small. And she wanted to buy this for me because I wasn't going to buy it for myself. But she wanted to buy me these little baby shoes. Aren't they sweet? And very sadly, she also bought me a baby carriage. And the baby carriage fell out of the cart and broke. And she was upset. And I felt really bad for her. But I'm glad if one of them had the break, it was the carriage. Because the shoes are super cute. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. There's something in here. And I don't remember what it is. Ah! It's the, it's the picture that goes with this. And there is a beautiful large teapot that goes to match it. So there's that. And then my mom gave me this huge doily round tablecloth and this runner let's see it hangs like that big long I mean this could be made into a banner So anyway, guys, anyway, guys, that's what I could haul in my suitcase. There's still a lot of stuff at my mom's and um, that Victorian doll. I wanted to bring that home so bad. That was like my favorite thing. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, some of you are excited to see it. There it is. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thursday. Yeah.
Thursday. All right. Just got finished doing payroll. And <clears throat> Shane's lawyer is going <clears> to <throat> be calling me at 10. It's now 9.07, so I thought I'd come chat with you, put these clips together, and give you something to watch. I'm working with purple. Guess what I'm doing? Purple. <coughs> so yesterday, I came home. Um, I got done early, as I told you, because I had scheduled a light day because I was supposed to go to the doctor. And then didn't go. So I got home early and I went to get in the shower and I'm like taking my work pants off and getting ready to get in the shower. And uh, my foot got stuck in my pants as I'm like pulling them off. And so here's my foot. It bent it like that. Like really fast. I screamed. Don't anybody tell me to be careful. Don't say it. That was weird. That was like, I wasn't not being careful. I was taking my pants off. So please don't tell me to be careful. Um, It was a very bizarre incident. So, yeah. So my foot swelled up. <laughs> My ankle, my foot, whatever you want to call it, swelled up. And I had to elevate it and ice it last night. And it feels better today. But I'm sure that wasn't a good thing. So I am really looking forward to going to the doctor on Tuesday and getting some kind of serious answers about what we're going to do. So, anyway. Would you like to do some comments? I haven't done comments in so long. Um, you guys have been really engaged. I can't get behind on this anymore. Okay. Because then there's like too many comments. So I'm going to go to the last vlog, which was the vlog at my mom's. Oh, my cousin says, hi, cousin. Oh, how I miss you and wish we lived closer. You really got some good footage and your mom's reaction was so sweet. It made me cry. So glad the surprise was not spoiled. It's good that you have all this on film because now I know what to start packing up. <laughs> and what's got your name on it? LOL. I love you and pray all is well. Bye for now. Um... Then, let's see, La, L-A-G-M, that is an unusual name. If you're watching, you should tell me what that means, because I'm curious. Loved your video, have a beautiful, you have a beautiful family, your mom's Christmas room is really cool. Thanks for sharing. Sherry Walters, I'm glad that you're home safe, missed hanging out with you, your mom looks great, she's just adorable, my mom is, she's like a little miniature adorable. <laughs> Um, love the surprise look on her face when she saw you priceless and yeah, it is priceless. And I don't know if I ever mentioned, but my dad was, my dad always documented everything on film. My dad always had a big camcorder on his shoulder. That was my dad. And he wasn't in a lot of the video because he was the one doing the video. So I don't know. I just am kind of now realizing that now I'm the documenter. So kind of cool since me and my dad were like this. Sandy Jones, beautiful vlog, Rena. My mom has been gone eight, eight years this year, and I miss her every minute of every day. One day I was helping her make a card, and the very next day she was gone. Only thing I'm grateful for is that the last thing she said to me, and I said... BK was love you. Mom used to tell us kids, if you make the last thing you say to family and friends is love you, then you will never regret your last words to anyone. And she might, and she was so right. By the way, I have a granddaughter 
called Molly. So just loved your doll. LOL. Thank you and your family for sharing. Well, my family doesn't like to share as much as I do. As a matter of fact, my sister goes, did you, did, are you not going to post that, are you? I'm like, yes, I am. Debbie Graphius, not a live watcher. Makes me feel like I'm watching Romper Room with the teacher talking to the little kids at home through her empty mirror frame. <laughs> we all need the good stuff. Chinette. <laughs> all right, Debbie, I guess I won't be talking to you on live. Um, Lori Townsend, so glad you were able to go home and see mom. She is absolutely gorgeous. Glad you're home and anxious to hear how your foot doctor meeting goes. Big hugs from the world, as your mom says. LOL. Sandra Sundell, your mom is so cute and so sweet. Makes me miss my mom even more. I'm so happy you made it there and back safely. But to surprise her, the look on her face was wonderful. Anxious to see your haul and hear what the doctor says about your ankle. Take care. Cynthia Emmerichs just simply says, I'd like evening, please. I think she means for um, live chat. Uh, Naomi West, sorry you had a bad start to your trip. Can you claim any compensation? Glad you had a great time with your mom. Loved her face when she saw you. Can't wait to see the goodies you got. And then Sandra Sundell responded and says, Naomi West, no compensation. Weather is beyond their control. If there was a mechanical problem, maybe. But because she did make it to her destination, there is nothing she could be compensated for. Well, I think I should be compensated for my time. I mean... Three and a half hours. Let's see. Actually, three hours and 45 minutes. Because we were on the runway at 1245 getting de-iced. So, I mean, if a flight is three, three plus hours delayed, you would think they would know that in time before you left for the airport. That's what upsets me. Jennifer Richards, so either morning or night works for me. Can't wait to see you go live. Sorry about all the delays. Those are the worst. Your mom looks so happy to see you, and a surprise it was. <laughs> looks like you had a great time. Yes. Linda, FaithChick777, she commented three times. Okay, just pausing for a moment. You were nice to those guys. <laughs> I would have said something about taking my boot off and sticking it someplace. So, shh, and keep on moving. <laughs> Our next comment says, next pause. Dang you, LOL, tears. Your mom's reaction. Priceless. I love it. Um, sometimes I get so caught up in the moment, I forget sometimes to do video. But I knew I needed that on video. Um, and then finally she says, what a beautiful visit with your mom. Thanks for sharing. I loved her comment about the cabinet in need of reorganization. LOL. Your mom's house is huge. Beautiful. My mom's house. Oh, what is it's like a 4,000 square feet. It has three five ton air conditioning units, three full size functional fireplaces. And she lives there, 85 years old, all by her lonesome. I'm trying to talk her into getting uh, Alexa. I was like, I'll buy it for you. You just have to pay for the internet. Um, so we're working on her with that because my philosophy is this. You know, I'm 54 years old and I fell in my own house that I've lived in for 12 years. Had I not had my phone in my hand at the time, I would have laid there for at least, at least five hours. If nobody had been home, which normally nobody's home, and also um, had not had my phone, that's what would have happened. So I told her, if we get you two Alexas or whatever the Google one is, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me which one. That she could just go, you know, holler, Alexa, can't say it too loud or she'll, no, she's unplugged, Alexa, call 911, or Alexa, call the neighbor across the street or whatever. Um, that's what would make me feel better for her. Um, 
So I'm trying to talk her into that. Do any of your, I mean, cause she won't wear the, the, the thing around the neck. So don't even suggest that. She's already said, I'll forget. It'll be in the bathroom and I'll be in the kitchen and it's not going to help me. So she needs something that she can holler to. Um, so a lot of you have been disappointed that you missed the live chats. Um, and I really, really want to get on a schedule with that. So I think I want to do it once a week. I'm trying to decide. I'd kind of like to do it when Honey is home so he can pop in and say hi to you guys. Um, Scandal's not on anymore. So what do you think about Thursday evenings? Now, I'm on mountain time. So I'm in the middle of the country. If you're in California... You're an hour behind. If you're in the Texas time zone, you're an hour and ahead. And if you're in the East Coast, you're two hours ahead. So just trying to figure out a time. But I'm thinking Thursday evenings. Okay? So let me know what you think of that. Okay, so this is another. Oh, this is the live chat comments. Um, <clears throat> Star Reynolds says, I don't share it. With people besides my husband <clears throat> talking about you know having an argument with your husband talking to friends or whatever because in the end I'll get over whatever it was that made me mad and forgive him eventually but that person that you told won't get over it they'll be like he's just a bad guy blah 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 well my BFF won't because she has a, a boyfriend slash husband they've been together 10 years and she tells me stuff about him. I don't think he's horrible. I think he's human. So, anyway. So, I just hush it out with the husband. And believe me, we argue. I'm Republican and he's Democrat. So, yeah. LOL. Oh, that's terrifying. And his mama spoiled him to death. And I'm one of five children. So, yeah. We see a lot of things differently. Ooh. And just like you, I don't keep it to myself. I let it out. And then, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes later, I'm fine. <clears throat> but husband keeps it to himself until he blows up. And I just want to smack him. Which, of course, I wouldn't do. You know, because that's just wrong. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I'm glad you went to a doctor you trust. Sorry, it was poop news. Hope you have a great visit with your mom. Um, Angel Hearts 51. Well, missed it. Oh, well. Hope you have a great trip and don't think your foot is as bad. You know, these places have to make a living too. They're employees. The building. I wish you could get a second opinion. Okay. Well, let me just establish. This is the same doctor who did my knee. Uh, so he's not just like the random person that was on call for that day. I love my doctor. He did a great job on my knee, and I had to fight to get him. They wanted me to go to the um, ortho that was on call, and I had to fight. So anyway, um, yeah, she says another story about <clears throat> how her friend should have gotten a second opinion, but again, I, I feel very confident. Naomi West, missed your live again. Safe trip. Lynn Noakes Shabbylicious. Oh, I missed you live. Well, we're going to get back to it. Thursdays, Thursdays. Angela Ford. Oh, I missed it. I was at the doctor's. Um, married 25 years, still argue. Oh my God, no hope. But at the moment, a lot of stress, stresses to be fair. No, I wasn't around for the little house. I think I'll go back and have a look. Was it when is the best live time? When you get up, when you get up, it's, okay, she's in the UK. Um, I never liked Alice in Wonderland either. Uh, I love Disney. My favorites is Lion King and Eight Below. Have you seen that one? It's a wonderful film. Yes. Where the Red Fern Grows, not Disney. I don't 
I don't think, not sure, but a great film too. Rihanna would love it. Have a fab trip. Sandra Sundell, most of the people that go live announce it the evening before. Well, I'm learning. I'm learning. More crafters could join you if they knew you were going live. Have you tried cat food for sensitive stomach or hairball cat food? Might help with the throwing up. I'm going to I'm willing to try anything. Uh, Virginia Michelini. We have been on a cruise. Came home with cough and sore throat. Aww. So I'm way behind and miss you as well as others I follow. I will listen live anytime I get the notice. Hubby and I are sometimes watching TV in the evening or I leave him to Fox News and listen to videos. I saw, I saw a vlog with your mom and family already and like your mom. Very nice lady. As for arguments with hub hubby, I do vent to sis or daughter, sometimes just to the Lord. He doesn't vent to anyone and gets over anger fast. I'm trying things his way. And if I pray, tap, etc., I'm able to see his point of view. Change a little of my mind and not be dragged down by thinking he is rude or selfish, which I know he isn't. Uh, bless you as you visit all the specialists for healing. Thank you. Karen Rudder. Sorry I missed you live. Have a safe trip. KDS. Missed it again, but still enjoyed your live show on replay. I saw the movie Australia when it came out in the cinema, but not really a, a fan. Drover is a great name for a dog. Yes. I loved my dog, Drover. If you liked Australia, there's another Australian movie. It's called... It's about a dog called Red Dog. And recently a sequel to that movie came out, Red Dog True Blue. We have a few places in Australia that do high teas, but not too many tea rooms. Domino is a funny girl. She made me smile when she took over your video tutorial. Have you ever heard of Grumpy Cat? I have. You could make Domino as famous as Grumpy Cat, even start her own channel. <laughs> like, I don't have enough to do already? I'm going to make a Domino channel? Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed now just thinking of all the stuff I have to do for the tea room and things I have to learn. And last night when I was laid up in bed, I was searching... Um, for things to sell in the tea room. Deborah Hazeldean, mornings for you. So it's afternoon for me in the UK. That would be great. But I missed this one again. Have a fun trip. D's Designs, missed, missed your love presentation, but enjoyed the chat. Safe travel. Meant live. Oh, missed your live presentation. <laughs> uh, Ginger McGraw, reading all the comments, RE fighting or arguments with your partner is very interesting. Each has a different perspective on the way to handle things. My DH and I, darling husband, have been married for 36 years and we have probably been in maybe one real fight in all those years. We do snip at each other once, once in a while when one of us is tired or stressed, but that's about the extent of it. Neither one of us likes conflict or raised voices, so that keeps things in a happy balance. I think we both have a good communication skill, so that must help. I think once you learn enough about each other and realize we all have personal opinions, so we don't try to change the other's minds about the things, just accept as being their opinion and let it be. Nothing bottled or need to vent. I don't mean this to sound like we are saints, as we are not. We just don't want to have conflict in our lives. I don't want it either. But it happens. Anyway, she has a super long comment, so if you're interested, check it out. I'm going to continue so I can get finished up, because we're at 20 minutes already. Dana Imos, I'm watching you after you did live. Sorry, but still going to watch. Maryville 55, sorry to have missed your live stream. Jenna Mama, hi Rena, sorry I missed it again, but PG Tips is what I drink. It's English. You can buy it at World Market. My favorite is Earl Grey though. I don't watch I don't watch much, but mainly Netflix stuff. Love your exposure box you're working on. That paper is so pretty. Live stream weekend mornings is my vote. Hmm. 
Okay, let's take a vote. Do you want weekend morning? Because it would have to be it have to be Saturday morning. So do you want Saturday mornings or do you want Thursday evenings? And I'm taking a vote. I'll figure out how maybe I can do an actual vote. I'll try. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's see. Disagreements. Yes, I vent briefly with my friend. And like you, it just floats away. Women need that so that they don't bottle it up. My husband of 31 years doesn't at all. Our last one was over me not being stressed out as much as he was stressed over taxes. <laughs> Uh, safe travel, safe trip and travels, Rena, and prayers. Um, yeah, honey does not get upset about that stuff because he doesn't do anything with the finances, nothing. So, yes, I get stressed about stuff like that, and he's just like, la -di da I'm going to go work on my boat, and yeah, so I get where you're coming from. Sandy Hughes. Hi, Rena. I just found a site I think you would enjoy. It's called rosesandteacups.com, and I have checked that out. Um, several people have shared that with me, and unfortunately, those people are out of business now. So, a lot of that stuff leads to nowhere, unfortunately. They sell beautiful dishes, and they seem to have reasonable prices. Good luck with your project and your foot. Let me, maybe that's not the one. Roses and tea cups. Dot com. Oh. Oh. Okay, I must have been looking at the wrong thing. Wow, this is cool. Where are they out of? Roses and teacups, your pathway to beautiful moments. Enter your email address. Alrighty, I'll do that. This is cool. They do have some beautiful stuff. Okay, I'm going to go enjoy this until Shane's lawyer calls, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.